glory to your name, God, glory to your name, God, glory. Glory, 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 God. Glory to your name, O oh God. Oh, we praise your name and we worship you today, Father God. We bless you, Lord, and we honor you today, O oh God. Father God, truly you're great and you're greatly to be praised, O oh God. We exalt you, Lord God, and we magnify you, Father God. O oh God, we thank you for being our everything, Lord God. We praise you and worship you for being our everything, Lord God. We exalt you today, O oh God, and we lift you up, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We we exalt your name and we lift you up this day, O oh God, because indeed this is the day that you've made, Lord God, and we rejoice and we're glad in it today, O oh God. O oh, Father God, we bless you, Lord God, and we honor you. We exalt you, Lord God, and we worship you today, Father God. We, we lift you up, Lord God, and we bless your name, Father God. We thank you for this day, O oh God. We thank you for this opportunity, O oh God, to come before you. We praise you and worship you, Lord God, and give you thanks for all that you continue to do in our lives, O oh God. Father God, we give you thanks because you're worthy of all the thanks and giving, Lord God, in our lives. We give you thanks, O oh God, because you're great and you're greatly to be praised. We give you thanks, Lord God, because you're faithful. We give you thanks, Lord Lord God, because you're just. We give you thanks, Lord God, because you're true. We give you thanks, Lord God, because you're mighty. Oh God, we praise you and we bless you, Lord God, today, because praise is comely and it's worthy of you, oh God. We thank you and praise you for doing it all, Lord God, in our lives, oh God. We thank you for giving us life, health, and strength today, oh God. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. We thank you for starting us on our way today, oh God. We thank you for being our strength and our source, Lord God. We thank you for being our peace, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for guiding us with your eye, Lord God. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for continuing to bless and continuing to provide for us, Lord God. Not because, Lord God, we deserve it, Lord God, but because you love us unconditionally, O oh God. O oh God, we praise you for this day that we've never seen before, O oh God. We praise you for this precious gift, Lord God. We thank you for allowing us to see it, Lord God. We thank you for exhaling, Lord God, that we might be able to inhale, Lord God. We thank you for the privilege of being used by you one more time, Lord God. You've given us life, health, and strength, O oh God. You've given us, Lord God, a purpose and a plan for our lives, O oh God. You've given us the opportunity and privilege of being here, O oh God. So, Father, we give ourselves to you, O oh God, and ask you to have your way in our lives, O oh God. We give ourselves to you, O oh God, and give you praise because it's in you that we live, move, and have our being, O oh God. We give ourselves to you, O oh God, and worship you, Father God, because we know that all of our help comes from you, Father God. We bless your name and we worship you today, Father. We exalt your name and we lift you up and minister to you today, oh God. We minister you, minister to you with our praise. We minister to you with our worship, Lord God. It's all that we have to offer you, Lord God. And we offer ourselves to you today, oh God, that you be pleased and glorified, oh God. We offer ourselves to you today, oh God, that you use us for your glory, oh God. We offer ourselves to you today, oh God, that you be pleased with our living, Lord God, and use us as living witnesses to make a difference in the lives of others, Lord God. Father God, you, you you created us for such a time as this, O oh God. You created us fearfully and wonderfully, just as your word says. You created us, Lord, to be used by you, Father God. You created us to give you praise and honor and glory, Lord God. You created us, Lord God, that we might have dominion, Lord God, in over the earth, Lord God, and everything in the earth, O oh God. Father God, teach us how to walk in the fullness of all that you created us to be, O oh God. Teach us how to walk in the fullness, Lord God, of the power that you've endued us with, Lord God. Teach us to walk in the fullness, O oh God, of the grace that you've given to us, Father God. You created us in your image and in your likeness, Father. So we ask you, Lord God, to teach us how to walk like you. Teach us how to talk like you. Teach us how to act like you. Teach us how to function like you here in the earth, God, in the name of Jesus. Teach us, Lord God, how to truly be ambassadors for Christ in the earth, O oh God. Teach us how to be clear and accurate reflections of you, Father God, to your people in the name of Jesus. O oh God, use us, Father God, to bind those things up, Lord God, on earth that are not of you. Lord Lord God, and use us to loose, Lord God, your way and your will here in the earth, Father God, in the lives of others, O oh God. We thank you for doing it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We praise you and worship you, Father God, for your faithfulness today. We praise you and worship you, Lord God, for your faithfulness to us, Lord God, even in moments where we're faithless, Lord God, and, and lacking of faith towards you, Father God. Forgive us for our sins, O oh God. Forgive us for our every offense, Lord God. Forgive us for our shortcomings, O oh God. Forgive us for our challenges. 
teenagers, oh God. Forgive us for being problem children to you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, have your way in our lives, oh God. Move by your spirit in us, oh God. Have your way, Lord God, and, and minister through us, Lord God, to make a difference in the lives of others. God, you created us, Lord God, to be a blessing. You created us, Lord God, to minister to others, oh God. You created us to be, Lord God, the head and not the tail. You created us to be above and not beneath, oh God. You created us to be lenders and not borrowers, Lord God. Take the gifts that you place in us and use us, O oh God. We know that the cares of life and the challenges of life, Lord God, get heavy, O oh God. We know that the way gets challenging, Lord God. We know that situations and circumstances come that are rough, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that the enemy seeks to come in to steal and kill and destroy, O oh God. But we ask you, Lord God, this morning to give us the perseverance. Give us the resolve to stand, O oh God. Give us the resolve in you to say, Lord God, though he slay me, yet will I trust him, O oh God. God. Give us, Lord God, the resolve to persevere, Lord God. Help us to remember, Lord God, what Psalm says, Lord God, in 23 and 4, O oh God, that though we walk through the valley and the shadow of death, we'll fear no evil, O oh God. And keep us ever mindful that we're walking through it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Keep us ever mindful, Lord God, that it's just a test, O oh God. Keep us ever mindful, Lord God, that it's an opportunity, Lord God, to give you glory. Keep us ever mindful, Lord God, that it's an opportunity, Lord God, to be a reflection of you in the earth, O oh God. Keep us of a mindful, Lord God, that you desire us to be living witnesses in the earth, Lord God, of how you desire your people to live, move, and have their being, Lord God. Keep us ever mindful, Lord God, that our lives are living epistles, Lord God, that are designed to be read by men and women, Lord God. So help us, Lord God, to be clear, Lord God, uh, uh, epistles to be read, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to not interfere with a single stroke that you're seeking to make in our lives, oh God. Help us, Lord God, to not interfere with your will and your work in our lives, oh God. And Instead, give us the resolve to persevere, Lord God. Give us the resolve to be, Lord God, clean slates daily that you can write upon, O oh God. Give us resolve, Lord God, to be clean slates that you desire to use, Lord God, to show people your will and show people your way in the earth, O oh God. Father, we yield ourselves to you, O oh God. We yield our will to you, O oh God. We yield ourselves to you, O oh God. We ask you to have your way and minister in us, O oh God. We ask you to have your way and move in us, O oh God. We ask you to have your way and bless, Lord God, the earth through our living. Living, oh God. Father God, give us the strength to stand, Lord God, in the face of persecution. Give us the resolve to stand for you, Lord God, in the face of persecution. We know that you're greater than any report that the doctor can give, oh God. We know that you're greater, Lord God, than any ache or pain that we might have, oh God. We know that you're greater, Lord God, than any heartbreak that we might face, oh God. We know that you're greater, Lord God, than any challenge, Lord God, that the workplace would throw us, Lord God. We know that you're greater, oh God, than any situations that we might face at home, Lord God. And because we know this, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to be great in us, O oh God. Be great in us, Lord God, that we be reflections of your greatness in the earth, O oh God. Be great in us, Lord God, that people will see you alive in us and give you glory, O oh God. Be great in us, Lord God, that you be pleased with every aspect of our living, O oh God. Be great in us, Lord God, that people would come to know you, Lord God, through our living, that they would come to the point of saying, what must I do to be saved? How can I get the peace that you have? How can I get the anointing that you have. How can I be all that God has called me to be as you're all that God has called you to be? God, help us to persevere in the times where it seems unfair. Help us to persevere in the times where it's scary, oh God. Help us to persevere in the times where we don't understand, oh God. Father, you've shown us in your word that we'll lean not to, you, to our own understanding, oh God, but we're to acknowledge you in all of our ways, oh God. Father, we acknowledge you in all of our ways today, oh God. We give you praise in the good, Lord God. We give you praise for the challenge Oh God, we give you praise in the bad times, oh God. We give you praise in every situation, oh God. We give you praise in every circumstance, oh God. Teach us how to praise you at all times, oh God. Because, Lord God, as we praise you, Lord God, at all times, Father God, your praise will continually be in our mouths, oh God. And if your praise is continually in our mouths, oh God, we won't have room, Lord God, to, to, to be complaining. We won't have room to gripe, oh God. We won't have room, Lord God, to be contrary, Lord God. We won't have room, Lord God to not be living witnesses of you, Father God. Have your way in us today, Lord God. Give us the resolve to persevere today, O oh God. Help us, Lord God, to lean on you, Father God. You, Lord God, continue to be the rock that's higher than us that we come to, Lord God, in times where we don't understand, in times where we don't know, Lord God, in times where the way is rough, O oh God. Help us to continue to persevere, Lord God. We declare and decree this morning, Lord God, that we shall not die, but live and declare all the glorious works of the Lord. Our dream shall not die, but they will live to declare the glorious works of the Lord. Our health will not die, but it shall
shall live to declare the glorious works of the Lord. Our relationships shall not die, but they will live to declare the glorious works of the Lord. Our dreams will not die, but they will live to declare the glorious works of the Lord. God, we thank you and praise you for renewing our minds, O God, to let these same minds be in us, which also are in Christ Jesus, O God. Father, you have your way in us, Lord God. You use us for your glory today, O God. You bless us to be a blessing to your people, O God. Bless us to be a blessing to the kingdom today, O God. Father, our prayer this morning is simple, O God. Have your way in us today, O God, and give us the resolve, God. Give us a supernatural resolve, Lord God, to continue to stand, O God. Lord God, after we've done all that we can do, O God, give us the resolve, Lord God, to continue to stand, O God. Help us to keep the whole armor on today, O God. Father, we're going to need the armor this week, Lord God. We know the enemy has traps and plans laid for us, O God. We know that the enemy has tricks and schemes laid for us, O God. But Father God, we know that we're more than able, Lord God, to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to your power that's at work in us, Lord God. Activate that power today, O God. Holy Spirit, activate that power in each of us today, O God. Activate that power in our brothers and sisters that are sick today, O God. Activate that power in our brothers and our sisters, Lord God, that are struggling today. Activate that power in our brothers and our sisters, Lord God, that are downcast today. Activate that power in our brothers and sisters, Lord God, that are struggling today. Activate that power in our brothers and sisters, Lord God, that are hopeless today, O God. We thank you for doing it in the name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God, for activating that power in your ecclesia, O God. Activate that power in your church, Lord God, that you use us to walk by faith and not by sight. That you use us, Lord God, to dream and to imagine, Lord God. That you use us, Lord God, to be all that you call us to be. That you use us, Lord God, to see ourselves healthy, whole, and healed, O God. We see our see ourselves victorious, O God. We see ourselves on the other side of this, Lord God. I see, Lord God, a declaring decree that we're going to make it to the other side of this, Lord God, for every distance in people's lives, O God. We thank you for victory and dominion over it, Lord God. We thank you for dominion over the list of health concerns. We thank you for dominion over the list of financial hardship. We thank you for dominion over the list of relationship challenges. We thank you for dominion over the list of mind-binding spirits. We thank you for dominion over the list of situations and circumstances circumstances that seek to exalt themselves against the knowledge of you, O God, through Christ Jesus. We thank you and praise you for victory, O God. We thank you and praise you for giving us a resolve to continue to press on, Lord God. Give us a resolve to continue to press our way, Lord God. Help us to forget about the things that are past, O God, as your word says, and give us a resolve to continue to press towards the mark, Lord God, because you have a prize waiting for us, O God. That prize is a high calling of God, Lord God, that's found in Christ Jesus. Father God, give us a resolve to continue to press on to get to reach that mark, O oh God. Give us a resolve to continue to press on, to be that clear and accurate reflection of you, O oh God. Give us a resolve to continue to press on, Lord God, no matter what it is we face, Lord God, knowing, Lord God, that the outcome is greater, Lord God, than the challenge, Lord God, that forces us to, 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 to expend the energy that we may not want to expend, O oh God. Father, we ask you to watch over us and keep us this day, O oh God. Give us this day, Lord God, our daily bread. Give us this day, Lord God, the faith that we need. Give us this day the peace that we need. Give us this day the joy that we need. Give us this day the hope that we need, O oh God. Give us this day the resolve that we need, Lord God, to be everything that you call us to be, O oh God. Give us this day, Lord God, the fortitude that we need, Lord God, to lift up your name and to persevere, O oh God. Give us, Lord God, the resolve that we need this day to, to stand in the face of the enemy and to stand in the face of his attacks and let him know through our example that, that, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, O oh God. I thank you, Father God, for being with us in every meeting today, O oh God. I thank you, Father God, for being with us in every conversation today, O oh God. I thank you, God, for being with us, Lord God, in every moment of worship, God. I thank you for being with us, Lord God, in every challenging moment, Lord God. I thank you for being with us, Lord God, when we seem and feel discouraged, O oh God. I thank you for being with us constantly, Lord God, because as you're with us constantly, Lord God, we'll be mindful of your word, Lord God, that lets us know that goodness and mercy surely, Lord God, shall follow us all the days of our lives, O oh God, and we shall dwell in your house forever, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity to dwell with you forever, Lord God. We thank you for the privilege, Lord God, of being able to abide in you forever, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God, for the peace and knowing, Lord God, that you're with us and won't forsake us, Lord God, and that's a forever promise, oh God. We thank and praise you, Father God, but because we know, Lord God, that you're with us, Lord God, and you'll continue to make us rich, Lord God, and add no sorrow to our living, oh God. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for having your way in our lives. We thank you for setting our course this week, Lord God. God, towards uh, pleasing you, O oh God, for sitting our course this week, Lord God.
God, for being all that you call us to be, for setting our course this week, Lord God, to function like we have it never before and functioning like you, O oh God. We thank you for calling those dreams back to life, O oh God. We thank you for teaching us how to dream again, Lord God. We thank you for teaching us how to imagine again, Lord God. We thank you for teaching us how to use our minds, our Lord God, to see and create, Lord God, the things that you desire us, desire us to see and create, Lord God. Help us to create the dream, Lord God, once again. Help us to create the vision, Lord God, once again. Help us to create the calling, Lord God, once again. Let us not shy away from the magnitude of it, Lord God, but instead let us embrace it, Lord God, and let us envision it coming to pass, Lord God, because as we envision it coming to pass, Lord God, and put our faith in you and not our confidence in man, Lord God, it shall come to pass, Lord God. The vision shall speak and not lie, oh God. The vision, Lord God, shall speak and not lie. Give us the resolve to wait for it, Lord God. Though it might seem like it's tearing in our lives, oh God, give us the resolve to wait for it, oh God. Give us the resolve to worship you in the midst of our trials and tests, oh God. Give us the resolve to worship you, Abba, in the midst of our transition, oh God, because you're perfecting us and creating us and perfecting us and, and preparing us for such a time as that, Lord God. We thank you for victory right now, oh God. We praise you for it right now, oh God. We resolve that, Lord God, is already done in the name of Jesus because we're touching and agreeing and lining our faith up, Lord God, with your will, Father God. We're touching and agreeing on this line this morning that this is what you'll do for every brother and sister all over the earth, that this is what you'll do for each and every one of our young people, that this is what you'll do for each and every member of this ministry, oh God, that this is what you'll do, Lord God, for every aspect of the vision for, Lord God, for this house, that this is what you'll do in each and every one of us today, Lord God, as we face the challenges that come with this week, oh God. Father, this is the week that man has set aside for to, to give thanks, but I thank you and praise you that you've given us the resolve to give you thanks every day, oh God. We I thank and praise you, Lord God, that you've given us the resolve to give you praise and honor and glory every day, oh God. Father God, every day is a day of thanksgiving for us, oh God. Every day is a day for us to worship you, Father God. Every day is a day to lift you up, Father God. And we do just that today, oh God. We lift you up this morning, oh God. We seek you this morning early while you may be found, oh God. We thank you for giving us our marching orders, Lord God. We thank you for giving us the resolve to persevere this morning, oh God. We thank you for giving us the resolve, Lord God, to live for you today, oh God. We thank you for giving us the resolve, Lord God, to be all that you've called us to be and then some, oh God. We thank you for giving us the resolve, Lord God, to be victors and not victims today, oh God. We thank you for giving us the resolve, Lord God, to truly be everything that you called us to be, oh God. We praise you and worship you for doing it, Lord God. We bless your name for having your way in us, oh God. We exalt you and, 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 and praise you, Lord God, for continuing to move by your spirit, Lord God, and for continuing to minister, Lord God, in our hearts and minister in our minds today, oh God. Oh God, use us today, Lord, for your glory. Use us today, Lord God, to be a blessing. We thank you, Father God, and we praise you for being with us, O oh God. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for guiding us and directing us today, O oh God. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for hearing and answering our prayer this morning, Lord God. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for being in our midst, O oh God. You have your way in every aspect, Lord God, of our day, O oh God. You have your way in every aspect, Lord God, of our living, O oh God. You have your way in every aspect, O oh God, of our worship today, Lord God, that as we worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth, with every fiber of our being, Lord God, you'll continue to strengthen us and guide us and direct us, Lord God. You'll continue to give us, Lord God, answers to prayers, Lord God. You'll continue to be with us, Lord God, in everything that we face, Lord God. And as you do these things and so much more, Father God, we'll give your name the honor and praise, Lord God. We worship and magnify you and lift you up today, O oh God. And we thank you for it all, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We say amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our scripture today is found in Colossians, the first chapter, verses 11 and 12, and reads as follows. God will strengthen you with his own great power so that you will be patient and not give up when troubles come. Then you will be happy and give thanks to the Father. As we go through this week and as man has set this time aside to give God thanks. Let's be mindful that every day is a day of thanksgiving. And as we face situations and circumstances that we may not understand, that we may not like, that we may not want, continue to keep us in a mindset of giving God thanks and understanding that he'll strengthen us and give us his power to help us be all that he's called and created us to be. Have a wonderful, wonderful blessed week and a wonderful, wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving holiday this week. God bless. Living Witness Ministries is a church on the move 
dedicated to sharing the good news of Jesus Christ through the preached and taught word, community activism and outreach, and practical ministry designed to meet needs, bless hearts, save souls, and change lives. You can sow into the ministry via our cash app at dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. That's dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. Sow your seed into the good works and good ground of Living Witness Ministries today. And thank you for helping us reach the world with the life giving way. We pray that you were blessed by today's broadcast and would love to hear from you. If you have any prayer requests, praise reports, or would like to learn more about Living Witness Ministries, you can contact us by email at livingtowitness at gmail.com. That's the word living, the number two, witness at gmail.com or by phone at area code 404-955-8846. Again, that's area code 404-955-8846. Until next time, we encourage you to continue to live your life as a living witness. Oh, 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 oh,